This beautifully landscaped park, located just one block from the heart of downtown Salt Lake City, is the final resting place of President Brigham Young, Eliza R. Snow, and other Young family members. From this vantage point, they could overlook their beautiful farm and homes below. And of course, everyone from this vantage point could see the magnificent Salt Lake Valley, which the pioneers helped carve out of a desert and caused the desert to blossom as a rose. Standing in this cemetery, visitors might reflect on the courage and determined leadership of Brigham Young. President N. Eldon Tanner rededicated this site on the 1st of June, 1974, on the 173rd anniversary of Brigham Young's birth as a memorial park. It has been remodeled several times since and today offers visitors opportunities for quiet reflection about the lives of some influential Latter-day Saints. Several sculptures and monuments can be found throughout the park. Among them are memorials to two unique Latter-day Saint hymns. One plaque is dedicated in honor of William Clayton's song, Come, Come Ye Saints. Written after leaving Nauvoo, Clayton was worried about his wife, an unborn child he had to leave behind. When hearing news that his wife was well along with their new baby boy, he wrote a poem and set it to music. On the opposite side of the park, another plaque commemorates Eliza R. Snow's poem about our relationship to deity entitled, Oh My Father. Thus, one poem celebrates life and the other celebrates death and our eventual ushering back into God's presence. In the center of the park is a sculpture honoring the 6,000 pioneers who lost their lives crossing the plains between 1847 and 1869. Additionally, there's a magnificent bust of President Young and beside it, a unique monument depicting him as a loving father. For more information on Hallowed Ground Sacred Journeys, please visit virtualtours.byu.edu.